So let's talk a little bit about uh, some DNR issues. We have, a, and I'm going to start with you, uh, Representative Verdal, and we'll go around the table. But a viewer from Glenwood wants to know what, whether the legislature is going to do anything about the intersection of um, DNR jurisdiction and activities with watershed uh, districts doing ditch repair. There's some concern about uh, DNR and, and the way it interacts with watershed districts. And then, of course, a question that we've had a great deal of interest in over the last uh, couple of years. Your from Ellsworth wants to know, what about mowing road ditches? August 1st is too late. We need to move it to July 1st to increase the quality of the grass. Uh, obviously, these are two uh, contentious issues. Uh, let's start with start with you, Representative Erdahl. Um DNR ditches and and mowing ditches. You know, I'm not sure about what negotiations are going on on the on the ditches with the, with the watersheds. I know maybe some of you guys know mm -hmm. more about that. I, I know that there's been a lot of contention with the mowing uh, that uh, it's uh, just you know, our our farmers find that. Having to wait so long, the grass is, is worthless for what they want to use it for. It's not any good for feed when, when you're cutting it in August. No. Uh, so, you know, that, that still remains a, a real bone of contention. Uh, I uh, think the, the current status, uh, I don't know, have they, you, are they for sure that? I mean, they've, they've delayed this for quite a while, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think it still is in that that situation. You know, I, I really don't know the answer to that. All that goes to the um, Agricultural Committee and not the Environment Committee. So I, I know that there is issues with the ditches and the mowing, and there's a lot of, there's a work group that that mm -hmm. works on it, but I've not been privy to those conversations. Can you can yeah. ask? Well, and I, I think that the work group is coming up with some proposals uh, to deal with these issues this year, and I have not yet seen mm -hmm. them myself. Uh, but uh, you know, Representative Verdal uh, made some good points as far as the mowing is concerned, and uh, uh, as far as the, what, how the DNR is going to enact, interact with uh, with watersheds in terms of ditch repair. Uh, I haven't heard any proposals to be making any changes there at this point. I don't know if you've heard anything. Right, but so far, we don't know a whole lot about this stuff. <laughs> yeah. so, and and I, I, I guess, Representative Mahoney, that uh, ditches are not a big issue in your district. No, but I've been on the Ag Committee. This well, then you're our expert. <laughs> we need, we're looking to you for Actually, an answer I'm, to these I questions. I have not heard anything about the ditches and uh, the watersheds mm -hmm. at all, even last year when I was on the committee. Uh, the mowing, uh, you can make an argument. The hunters want their pheasants and whatever, mm -hmm. and the farmers want their feed. And for me, it's a, it's a bigger idea, bigger issue is to, is to mow earlier to get rid of the invasive species that grow in our ditches and then get into the fields and cause the, um, the farmers to have to use more pesticide or a different plowing, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the word is, um, system. Because that affects, and it, you know, all these things are interactive. That affects mm -hmm. the water quality out in greater Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And if we have bad water out in greater Minnesota, um, probably another subsidy. <laughs> Uh, we have unhealthy people, and we have enough problems with our, our, our health systems out in greater Minnesota right now. So it, it's all kind of interactive. If you don't get rid of the invasive species, you start using a, 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 a higher amount of pesticides to knock them down. And Mother Nature will always beat us. They will always find a way to get an invasive species in here, and we'll always have to come up with a, a better way to kill it. I'd rather have us figure out a way to be proactive than have a farmer take out their checkbook and write a big, a big check to the... Well, I, I do know right now that the ditches in greater Minnesota are great snowmobile trails. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I do know that we just got a foot of snow, so the best use of a ditch right now is a snowmobile trail. I don't so, want to offend you, know. you, but what are you doing here now? <laughs> So, I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't think they'll be cutting any of the grass. No, no I think not for a while. Not but it, while. it is a very important issue to our, to our farmers. I mean, yeah. they they don't want to cut, you know, until they, they don't want to wait until it, the end of the growing season to cut. Mm -hmm. 
So, and so I gather that there is some possibility, I think probably likelihood that some legislation will be heard on this topic in the course of this next I'm two, glad, three months. I'm glad you said heard and right. maybe attempted, but I, I'm not. Well, I think the, the ditch work group is, is, has, has been and continues to work through. And so if they come to some kind of solution or some kind of idea, then we'll see mm -hmm. legislation. But I wouldn't think that we would unless they came up with something they felt that needed to be addressed. And that's why so. we've been a little hesitant in, in how we answer this, because it has changed. It's kind of gone back and forth in this issue, mm -hmm. and they're waiting for this this working group to come up with some type of solution. Mm -hmm. 